was sentenced to two years in jail for homosexuality in Tunisia. In La Kef, Tunisia, a Tunisian court sentenced two men accused of sodomy to two years in prison. The decision violates their rights to privacy and non-discrimination under inter international law and Tunisia's 2014 constitution. The police also attempted to subject the defendants to an anal exam, apparently to use as evidence in the case. The, prosecu the prosecutor of the Keft First Instance Tribunal charged the men with sodomy under Article 230 of the Penal Code, which punishes consensual same-sex conduct with up to three years in prison. Quote, Tunisia's record of actively prosecuting people for consensual same-sex conduct is deeply worrying and a blatant invasion of their private life, says Yasha Yonis, who is a LGBT rights researcher at Human Rights Watch. Quote, while states and international bodies have commended Tunisia for its progress on human rights, the criminalization and prosecution of homosexuality, uh, homosexual, homosexual conduct signals otherwise, end quote. Well, at least and I, I mean, I actually say that in Iran, four to six thousand people have been executed for just being gay. But this is wait, this is, Tuni this, this, this is Tunisia. This is Tunisia. Tunisia, holy! I, I wasn't even noticing that. This is guys. This is the best. This is the one of the most moderate, most secular Islamic mm -hmm. countries out there. So this is what you could expect for the most moderate, most advanced most enlightened most you know less laws by islam this is the best that you can expect like so when people tell you like you know what not every islamic country is bad there are some islamic countries that, you know we have examples of a country could be islamic and not be like horrible barbaric laws they're talking about tunisia okay and this is so this is the best they offer okay so I mean, the, the best they offer is that you somebody has to go check your butthole to see if you committed the crime or not. I mean, come on, guys. This is like, ah, uh, this. Go on. By the way, uh, I want to say like this is also like what we are reporting uh, last week about Nasser Amari. Like he was, uh, he's supposed to be deported back to Tunisia, where his life is uh, in risk because of his bisexuality and also atheist activism. And this is what uh, Tunisia does, like. Uh, the Human Rights Council, I think they asked the Tunisian government to stop the forced anal checkups and everything uh, to determine a homo a homosexual conduct, and they said they will stop. But with uh, uh, the force, I mean, the force part, they said that they will just do the checkup uh, with consent. If uh, they give if the uh, they give consent, then they will do the checkup. But what they're doing is. They will be asking you uh, for consent, but if you don't give, the court might rule that uh, you are guilty. That's why you refuse to uh, do the checkup. And also, the tests have no scientific or evidentiary value in proving what that they're homosexual. I mean, that doesn't mean anything. So it's also. Anyways, but I was going to say in 2018, in October, I know the Tunisian parliament introduced draft legislation code for what they call code on individual freedoms or something like that. And it had several proposals uh, from the commission, including getting rid of Article 230, which is what they arrested these guys on, which is the punishment, you know, of homosexuality. And to your point, Armin, yeah. People always say, well, a lot of other countries, you know, Tunisia, Morocco, you know, you can drink and women wear whatever they want. But people also go to jail for adultery in Morocco. It's happened there, too. So, yeah, I mean, it's so cheating yeah. on your spouse, uh, having uh, who, whomever you choose, you know, whatever your orientation is, all these criminalizing of those behaviors, it's really bad. Can I, okay, I want to read this comment on Facebook by T.Y. Holland, and he or she is saying, I just kind of feel like as, as terrible as such a notion is, that's more of a political issue in a country I don't live in, so it's not really my concern. I'm not the world's police. You could just as easily use the headline, 
two people jailed for breaking a law within their country, which isn't really newsworthy. You have to be such a fucking asshole to hear a news about people people's rights being violated and then being punished for a crime that has zero victims. And if the first thing that comes to your mind is not, oh my God, that is horrible. Oh, this is not, this is a bad, this is so bad. How dare they do this to people that are not causing any harm to anybody? If the first thing that comes to your mind is like, well, it's not happening in my backyard, so fuck them. If that's what's coming, then you're a, yeah, then you are a horrible garbage human being. If that's what you think, it's not happening in my country. So who gives a shit? And every time these people bring out, well, they violated the law. Seriously, fuck you. Fuck you for supporting unjust laws. Do you, oh my god. The, and they live in and the the har, the the horrible thing about it is that they don't even realize that they live in countries that has better laws because there were people who fought against unjust laws. Do you think that unjust laws just disappear by their own? Do you think unjust laws in your country just went away because other people just sit there and be like, oh, yeah, these laws are unjust. Hopefully someday they go away. Oh, okay. TJ responds to TY and saying it's a human rights violation. And then there's another TJ. Another TJ is responding and saying, not everyone follows this page is from the same country as you. I'm, it might concern others. It's not a, c- a concern to you. Just ignore it. Yeah. It, it, like, how, let me see what country this T.Y. is from. Let him have it. I'm so angry at this comment right now. I like don't even have words. I have something to say. Let's There's another going. part of that comment that makes me really angry, too, because, you know, there's one thing for people to say, well, I don't give a fuck about them. They're not from around here, which mm. that's terrible in and of itself. But that's not, in my opinion, that's pretty common for a lot of people just to not care about anything except for what's right in front of their face. Right. More so than other. But it's still terrible. But what really frosts my pumpkin as my ex-husband would say, um, is the, it's just their country, breaking some law in their country. To me, that is cultural relativism, and that's just disguised bigotry. Because, so, it's against the law to be gay in Tunisia, and then, well, whatever, that's just how they do over there. I mean, we have rights here, but, you know, they're for us. Whatever they do over there, you know, I don't know if they don't deserve it or, you know, whatever there is going through their mind when they say things like that. But I don't think that they're actively thinking that these people don't deserve human rights. I just think it is a really thoughtless, patronizing not nice thing to say about people that they're not what smart enough to get human rights, right? Uh, worthy enough to have human rights. I mean, I feel like it's just like what I like to sometimes call the racism of liberals too. You know, like this racism well, of lower it, expectation. Racism there's that lo- too. There's yeah. that too. Bigotry yeah. of lowered expectations. But yeah, it's just it's gross. Can I uh, can I just continue to read one thing else that T.Y. Say? said? I get that part, man. I'm just saying I wish this page and all others would stick to the topic that the group was established around. Are you fucking serious? This is exactly the entire point of this page. That is exactly what we're like. First of all, sometimes we want to talk about some things that is not our core mission. But this is exactly our core mission. This is the entire point of our existence. God damn it. And, and by the way, I checked T.Y. is from the uh, United States, so he thinks that everybody should just talk about issues in the United States. This is like American centrist of T.Y. If, you know, oh, why are you showing me things about places that are not United States? There's a uh, goddamn one. Go fuck yourself, T.Y. Um, anyways, news. thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, What has what's holding you back? Okay, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're if you not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not 
telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us deprioritized what does that mean that means we're not we don't show up on the suggested you know videos on the right and all that you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos. 